Amusement Arcade has been a huge part of my life. You know, Dave and Buster's, Round One, that sort of place. Full of racing games, basketball games, carnival games, rhythm games, retro games, ticket redemption games, and claw machines that I never, ever won anything from. By spending time in the arcade, I can temporarily ignore all my responsibilities and actually feel like a winner. That sounds sadder than I expected. But out of all types of games, I have a serious obsession with ticket redemption games. So let's talk about that! Ticket game reward player with tickets, or coupons, based on his or her performance in the game. They usually have simple and clear objectives, but they don't last nearly as long as a, let's say, a normal racing game. Some ends within 1 or 2 minutes and some ends almost immediately. This way, the arcade can drain out your game tokens at an incredibly rapid speed, thus earn a crap ton of money. I mean, they're probably the arcade's main source of profit. But don't worry, because nothing matters if you can win that sweet succulent jackpot, right? <laughs> Well, no. No, not really. Well, I mean, if you're just trying to have some fun, then sure, but if you're serious about collecting tickets, then you really should think twice before spending your tokens on any ticket games. Well, I'm not going to brag over here, but I do identify myself as an above average arcade player. Here's a montage to prove my point. Okay. Although not a master at every single game, there are a few games that I have absolute confidence in winning the jackpot from. One of them is called Crazy Tower. The goal is to stack as many building blocks as possible. Each successfully stacked block is worth one ticket. But if you manage to stack 50 blocks in a row, you will be able to claim the jackpot of 1000 tickets. Jackpot value and rules may vary depends on locations. But what most of the people don't know is that there's a little trick. By looking at the speed of a Pacific... By looking at the speed of a specific moving block, you can determine if the jackpot will be available. Basically, what this means is that most of the arcade games operate a system that prevent giving out too many tickets. Once somebody wins the jackpot, the game will raise its difficulty to impossible to win. And it will only restore the difficulty after a set amount of time, or if there were enough people who lost the game. What a dirty, despicable system. Anyway, I noticed and I took advantage of my discovery so I won't waste my tokens if the game clearly doesn't want me to win. I also have a habit of taking a photo of the jackpot windscreen every time. I strongly recommend you to do this as well. Why? Oh, I'll tell you why! I'm sorry, there was a really jokey story. It was just another ordinary lucky day. I went to run one and beat the crazy tower as usual. I was expecting the reward of 1000 tickets, but this time, the machine stopped at 150 tickets. And then the dispenser just reset itself. I was a bit confused for a few seconds, but then I realized that this was a malfunction and I got to report this to an employee. I saw a gal at the front desk, so I rushed there and asked her, Uh, excuse me, I won the jackpot from the crazy tower game, but it only gave me 150 tickets instead of 1000. Uh, can you check it for me please? May I see your card, please? Oh, here. Thank you. So on here, it says you only want 150 tickets. 
Well, it's impossible. You see, the ticket outcome should be either any number between one to forty-nine or a thousand. It just can't be a three-digit amount. Yeah, well, I can't give you any tickets because there's no proof you actually won the jackpot. Just as yeah, she well, was explaining the lack of evidence,、no、I remembered something. Wait,、yeah, I well, do I have, have the evidence. There's no proof. Oh, here I took a picture. Wait, hold on. Here. Huh? Give me a moment. All right, I added eight hundred and fifty tickets to your card. Thank you so much. Yep. So if you don't want to lose 85% of your jackpot, don't forget to take a picture after you won. I mean, it won't hurt, right? Now, tickets for prizes. You can redeem all kinds of goodies from the prize section with your precious tickets. Again, however, I think most of the people can agree that the prizes on the shelves are extremely overpriced and not worth the time, effort, or money. You might as well just stare at that 32,000 tickets Xbox One or that 1,600 ticket Jumbo Plush. Be shocked and amazed, and return to pick some cheap candies and plastic toys and continue your day. Like, who's even capable of earning that many tickets and getting all those prizes anyway? Well, the answer: lots, lots and lots and lots of advantage players who figure out the strategy themselves by doing a great amount of research and test plays. Just four months ago, I discovered a subreddit for the Dave and Buster AP community. You can go check it out, but be sure to follow the rules. Please. I learned that a master advantage player can earn up to a hundred thousand tickets in one single day. Like, what? What? How? When I realized that there are so many dedicated players out there trying to profit from ticket games, I, I was quite amused. But at the same time, I feel like a huge dum dum. Why didn't this thought pop up in my head before? Like, why do I even try so darn hard exploring tricks when all of the answers are already on the internet?、Ah! But it was fine. Everything's fine. At least they proved that all my observations are correct. I mean, I am definitely not ready to devote that much time in cracking arcade games. Mastering just a few games is totally enough to impress all my friends. Besides, the tickets I earned are totally worth the money, and I got a load of prizes with them. I mean, heck, I got these bad boys after I took some pictures today. So it's, it's a clock. I already、um, installed the battery at the arcade place. Nine thirty-one. Okay, so let's hang it. I don't even have to buy gifts anymore. If it's one of my friend's birthday, I'll just go grab something like an animal head backpack, redeem it, and launch it into my friend's face. Friendship level up. In conclusion, just be aware that the arcade games aim for your money, but there are a bunch of tactics out there that you can study. Mindlessly playing on one game continuously without realizing that you have zero chance of winning is just depressing. So be smart. Be thoughtful, and most of all, don't forget to just have fun. I mean, even if you don't win, you pay for the joyful time and the great atmosphere, not those filthy tickets. Okay, I think that's all I needed to record for Henry. Special thanks to Rebecca Perrin from Let Me Explain Studios for helping me voicing the gal employee in my story. Oh wait, there's one last thing here at the bottom that he wants me to say. Hey, it's Rebecca. Please subscribe to Henry's channel. He is so much better than me. Uh, uh, Henry, didn't your mother ever teach you not to tell fibs? Nah, but in all seriousness,、uh, I met Henry at VidCon this year, and he was just so kind and so sweet. So please do subscribe to Henry's channel. He works so hard on it, and show more love and support for this animated storytelling community. And be sure to leave a comment too. Audiences' reflection are crucially important for me to improve my content. Thank you so much for tuning in. But now Henry's got to tune out. Bye. Bye.